how to build an AI agent or AI chatbot assistant using Gen AI platform on DigitalOcean and add it to your website. We will start off by creating our AI agent with our chosen AI model. We will then create a knowledge base for our AI agent, which our AI agent will use as a resource to answer questions. To the knowledge base, you can upload various files. In this video demonstration, I'll be creating a Bitcoin AI agent where the chatbot will answer questions based on Bitcoin's white paper. So I'll be downloading material such as Bitcoin's white paper right here onto my desktop, and then I'll upload it onto the knowledge base. This knowledge base will then be linked to the AI agent. Once the the AI agent has been created, we'll then test the chatbot in the agent playground where we can interact with it on DigitalOcean. The agent playground on DigitalOcean is just a small environment where you can test out and tweak your AI chatbot before you deploy it publicly to the internet. Once you've tested your AI chatbot in the agent playground and are satisfied, we'll need to set our agent endpoint to public. This will allow outside applications to access it for inference without needing the agent access key. Setting the endpoint availability to public will allow us to embed our AI agent on our website. Once that's done, we'll customize our AI agent by changing its name, adding some colors and changing its logo. So I'll be using the Bitcoin colors and the Bitcoin logo for my AI agent. I'll be using an image color picking website to get the exact hex colors for when we're customizing the colors of our AI agent. After we've customized our AI agent, we'll then add it to our website. I'll be adding the AI agent to the bottom right hand corner of our website's footer. My website is a WordPress website, so we'll be installing a plugin on our WordPress site to allow us to edit our footer. If you're not using a WordPress website, that's fine. You'll just need to add a script code in your website's footer. This can be done on any website as DigitalOcean's AI agent is easily integrated onto any platform. Okay, so let's begin. First, open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link to DigitalOcean. It will give you $200 in free DigitalOcean cloud credits to try out their servers free for 60 days. I'll put my referral link in this video description below. You'll then need to sign up to DigitalOcean, you can either do that by email, your GitHub account, or your Google account. Now I've already signed up to DigitalOcean, so I'm simply going to click on sign in. Once you've signed up and signed in, you'll be taken to your DigitalOcean projects dashboard. At the top right hand corner, if you use my referral link, you'll be able to see your free DigitalOcean cloud credits. To create your AI agent, you can either navigate to the left hand side and click on the Gen AI platform, or you can navigate to the green create button and click on it. Once you've done that, look for where it says agents, which is what allows you to create generative or gen AI agents on DigitalOcean. So I'm going to click on agents. Let's begin configuring our AI agent. First, we'll need to choose an agent name. So I'm going to delete the pre-typed text in here and my agent is going to be called BTC-agent. Once you've given your agent a name, scroll down until you see where it says agent instructions. In this text box, you'll need to instruct your agent on what exactly you want it to do and how it should do it. You can adjust these instructions later at any time, but I suggest you do it now. You should be very detailed and very specific in this text box. So I'm going to tell my agent what it is and what its expertise is going to be on. You are a Bitcoin master. You know everything about the Bitcoin white paper. So I'm just going to keep it really simple with one line because this is just a video demonstration. I suggest that you fill this text box in thoroughly. Once done, scroll down until you see where it says select a model. Click on this drop down arrow to see a list of models available. For this video demo, I'm going to be going with Llama 3.3 Instruct 70B, which is the latest and flagship model for Meta's Llama at the time of recording of this video. The model size is 70B, so I'm going to click on it to select it. Underneath that, it says optional configuration where you can add a knowledge base. Now we haven't created a knowledge base yet, so we cannot add a knowledge base just yet, we'll do that later. So continue to scroll down all the way to the bottom until you see where it says create an agent. Click on create an agent. I'll be back with you once the agent has been created. All right, I'm back. Our agent has now been created. You'll be in the overview tab of your AI agent where you'll see getting started with a step-by-step -step checklist. You can see we've created our agent. Next, what we'll need to do is attach a knowledge base. We'll need to create one first. To do this, look for the tab that says resources and click on it. Once here, scroll down until you see where it says knowledge bases. Click on create knowledge knowledge base. Now I'll need to configure our knowledge base. So let's start off by picking a knowledge base name. So I'm going to delete the pre-typed information in here and I'm going to call my knowledge base btc-agent-repo, which stands for repository. Now I'll need to select the data sources for our knowledge base. So click on select data source, click on this drop down arrow, and then you can either choose a spaces bucket or a folder that you have already on DigitalOcean. Spaces bucket is another service by DigitalOcean. Or if you want to follow my video step-by-step, -step, then you'll need to click on file upload. You can drag and drop file 
files into this box here to upload them, or you can click on the upload button to begin uploading them. So I'm going to be uploading the Bitcoin white paper. So I'm just going to open up my other tab here, which has the Bitcoin white paper as a PDF file. I'm going to click on the download icon, and then I'm going to choose a location on my desktop to save it. So I'm going to save it in my downloads, and I'm going to call it Bitcoin white paper. And then I'm going to click on save to download it. On my PC, the PDF file automatically opens in a PDF viewer once I've downloaded it. I'm just going to click on the X to close out of the PDF file. And now I'm going to go back to my DigitalOcean tab. I'm going to click on upload. I'm going to go to downloads and I'm going to click on the Bitcoin white paper and I'm going to click on open to upload this PDF. Now, once you've uploaded all your desired files for your knowledge base, click on add files. The file or files will then be successfully uploaded. Next, scroll down until you see where it says, where should your knowledge base live? So you'll need to pick a data center region for your knowledge base. To see additional data center regions, just click on this drop down arrow and you'll be able to see more regions. Now for this video demonstration, I'm just going to go with New York data center one, which is already pre-selected for me. Once you've selected your region, scroll down until you see where it says embeddings model. This determines your knowledge bases indexing costs. By default, all mini LM L6 V2 is selected, but you can click on this drop down arrow to select your desired embedding model. At the time of recording, there's only three, but I'm sure in the future, there'll be a lot more. You can see the cost per 1 million tokens right here. DigitalOcean is very transparent in its costs. Finally, scroll down all the way to the bottom until you see where it says create knowledge base and click on create knowledge base. In DigitalOcean's Gen AI platform, it will take roughly five to 10 minutes for the knowledge base to be indexed. So I'll be back with you once at least five minutes have elapsed. Okay, so seven minutes have gone by. As you can see, it still says it's not indexed yet, but we haven't refreshed the page. So I'm just going to navigate to the top of my browser and click on the refresh button. And now if we look for the status that says last index, you can see that our knowledge base has just been indexed 20 seconds ago. So it took just under seven minutes for the index. Let's go back to the Gen AI platform AI agent checklist. So I'm just going to click on the agents tab and then I'm going to click on my agent's name. Great. So we've created our knowledge base. Now I'll need to attach it to our agent. To do this, look for the resources tab and click on it. In the resources tab, scroll down until you see where it says knowledge bases once again. Now that we've created our knowledge base, we can simply click on add knowledge bases. You'll then see a drop down list of all your knowledge bases. If you have many knowledge bases, you can just search for the specific knowledge base that you want to add to this agent. You can do that in this text box here. Of course, I've only created one knowledge base and it's called btc-agent-repo. So I'm going to click on it to select it and then I'm going to click on add knowledge bases and then your knowledge base will be attached to your agent. At the very top, you'll see a banner that says agent update in progress. This banner will disappear once your knowledge base has been linked to your agent. So I'll be back with you once this notification banner disappears. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, the agent has been successfully updated. And you can see that in the resources under knowledge bases, we now have our BTC agent repo successfully attached to our agent. Now click on overview to go back to our getting started steps. Now that we have attached our knowledge base, we can move on to step three to validate our agent and experiment with our agent. So I'm just going to click on step three here. So we'll need to test our agent in the playground. So to access the AI agent playground, just simply click on the playground tab next to overview. In here, you can test your AI agent. So I'm just going to scroll down a little until I see the text box. So as you can see, it says, ask your agent a question to start evaluating. So I'm going to ask it, what are you? And there you go, it tells me that it is a Bitcoin master and that it has in-depth knowledge of the Bitcoin white paper. To the right here, you can change the agent instructions in this text box if you'd like to update it. And you can edit further settings by clicking on the settings tab here, changing the max tokens, temperature, top P and K value. And of course, remember to save the changes you've just made to your instructions or settings by clicking on update settings and then test out your agent in the playground once again. And if you're happy with your AI agent's answers, then you can move on to the next step with me. If you're not, you can continue tweaking. So I'm happy with how my agent is performing. So I'm just going to scroll all the way to the top and I'm going to go back to the overview tab. So now we've validated our agent. I'm just going to click on skip here. You don't have to follow these steps to a T. It's just a guide and a reminder for what you need to do. And that's how I'm using it. You can see step four in the getting started steps is to add more resources. Now I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to click on skip as I'm happy with the current resources I've added to my knowledge base. The next step, which is step five, is to set our agent's endpoint to publicly available. To do this, what you'll need to do is just scroll down until you see where it says agent essentials. As you can see, the endpoint is currently set to private, which means without an endpoint access key for your agent, you won't be able to interact with your agent. So to allow your agent to be interacted with on your website, you'll need to change the endpoint from private to public. To do this, click on edit to the right here of where it says private, and then click on public, and then click on save. Now outside applications can access your agent for inference without needing the agent access key. Your agent's endpoint will then be updated and deployed publicly. The current status is 
deploying. So I'll be back with you once the status has changed from deploying to running from blue to green. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, the status has changed to running. Now scroll down until you see where it says chatbot. Here we can preview and customize our agent. So I'm just going to show you how the agent looks like without any customization. So I'm just going to click on preview and your AI agent will open up in front of you. So as you can see at the top, my agent is called BTC agent chatbot, which is not a very cool name. So we'll customize the name in a second. I also don't like the color scheme and I don't like how the agent is greeting me so generically. So we're going to customize all of this. So I'm just going to click on the X here to go back to the chatbot section. And then I'm going to click on customize. In here, we can customize our chatbot's design. So first let's start off with the chatbot name. So I'm going to delete the pre-type name in here. I'm going to call my chatbot Bitcoin Oracle. This chatbot name will be displayed on your website. So it's what your website guests, customers, or users will see. For our chatbot design, we can start off by changing our primary color. The colors need to be entered in as hex color codes. So I'm going to delete the primary color here. So what I'm going to do is make my chatbot Bitcoin color theme. So I'm going to use Bitcoin's exact orange color. And I'm going to grab this from the Bitcoin logo. So I have already searched for the Bitcoin logo on Google Images. And I'm going to right click on the Bitcoin logo and I'm going to click on Copy Image Address. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on my other tab here where I'm on our website called imagecolorpicker.com. This site allows me to upload an image and pick its colors. So it's good for getting an exact color match. So to upload my Bitcoin logo image, I'm just going to scroll down until I see where it says use your image. So I'm going to click on use your image. And to select my image, you have a number of options here. I'm going to use the image URL tab. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to right click in this text box and paste in the Bitcoin image URL icon that I copied earlier. And then I'm going to click on OK. This will upload the image. To select the color, use your mouse and click on the color that you'd like the hex code for. So I'm going to click on the orange color here. And as you can see underneath colors, the hex code is right here. I'm going to click on the copy button here to copy it. Now, if you know the hex colors already that you'd like to use, you don't need to go through this process. Or if you don't want to use an image to base your color selection from, you can just use the color picker tab here. I'm now going to go back to my digital ocean dashboard and I'm going to right click in this text box and click on paste to paste in the primary color. The next color that we can customize is the secondary color. So you might be asking, what's the difference between the primary color and the secondary color. The primary color will be the speech bubble color of the AI chatbot. So it's going to be orange for the primary color. And for the secondary color, that's your speech bubbles, which is your messages. So I already know the color that I would like to use here, and it's going to be black. Black is six zeros. So I'm just going to delete the pre-typed color code in here, and I'm going to leave the hashtag, and I'm going to type six zeros. So zero, 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 zero. For the button background color, that's just the color of the button when you're sending a message. So I'm going to change that to the same as my primary color, which is orange. So I'm just going to click on my primary color. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to right click on it and click on copy. I'm then going to click on the text box for the button background color. I'm going to delete the pre-typed information. I'm going to right click and click on paste. Underneath is the starting message for your AI chatbot. Click on the text box and delete what's pre-typed in here. So my starting message for my Bitcoin AI chatbot is going to be as follows. So I'm going to type ask me about the Bitcoin white paper. Once you've typed in your starting message, look underneath for the last customization option you have, which is the logo URL. So I'm going to use the Bitcoin logo as my chatbot's logo. This is what will be displayed on your website when guests want to interact with your chatbot. So I'm going to open the tab with the Bitcoin logo. I'm going to right click on the Bitcoin logo and I'm going to click on copy image address. I'm going to go back now to the digital ocean tab, I'm going to click on the logo URL text box, Go to delete everything that's in there, go to right click and then click on paste to paste in the Bitcoin logo image URL address. Once you're happy with the customization of your AI chatbot, just click on save. Your AI agent will then be updated. Let's click on the preview button to see all the customization we have done. And there we go, Bitcoin Oracle is looking good. Let's see if the secondary color is working also. So I'm going to click on this text box here and I'm just going to type hi and hit enter on my keyboard. And as you can see, the secondary color is indeed black. I'm now going to close out of the preview. Great, so we've finished customizing our chatbot. How do we add it to our website? What you'll need to do is look for this piece of code in this text box here, which is a script that you'll need to copy and paste onto your website exactly where you want the chatbot to appear. So all I'm going to do is click on the copy button and it will copy the entire script from this script tag here to the closing script tag here. Once you've copied the script code, open up your website. So I'm going to click on this tab here and it'll take me to my blog site, which is currently pointed to test.websplaining.com. Now my website is a WordPress website. So if your website is also a 
WordPress website, follow these steps step by step. If your website isn't a WordPress website, you'll just need to add that code that you copied to your website's footer. And then your AI agent will be displayed as an overlay at the bottom right hand corner. So I'm already logged into my WordPress website's admin panel. So I'm just going to hover over my blog's name at the top left hand corner here, and I'm going to click on dashboard. Once you new WordPress dashboard, we'll need to install a plugin. So click on plugins and then click on add new plugin. Click on the text box that says search plugins. In here, type the following, insert headers and footers. Once you've typed this in, WordPress will then search for these keywords. Now the plugin that I'm looking for is insert headers and footers. It's this one right here by this guy. Once you've found this plugin, click on install now to install it. WordPress will then begin installing this plugin. Once it's installed, you'll need to activate it. So click on the activate button here. And now the plugin is active. Now that we've got the plugin activated, hover where it says settings and look for where it says WP headers and footers and click on it. The headers and footers plugin will then open. I'm going to click on skip this step here. And now in the scripts tab, scroll down until you see scripts in the footer. In here, click on this text box, right click on it, and then click on paste to paste in the code that you copied from DigitalOcean's GenAI agent platform. Once done, click on save changes. And now your AI chatbot will be added to your WordPress site. I'm now going to check this by viewing my live WordPress site. To do this, navigate to your WordPress site's name, hover over it, and click on visit site to be taken to the live view of your WordPress website. And if we look to the bottom right hand corner, you can see our AI agent's logo, which in my case is the Bitcoin logo. So I'm just going to click on it to open it. And there we go, our AI agent opens and we can now interact with it. I'm going to click on this text box and I'm going to ask it to tell me about the Bitcoin white paper. Then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. And as you can see, our AI chatbot is working flawlessly. I'm now going to close out of the chatbot. As that pretty much concludes this video on how to build an AI agent or AI chatbot assistant using Gen AI platform on DigitalOcean and add it to your website, which in my case was a WordPress website. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Is it so I to let you go?